There, I'm just heading up straight north on Cedar Lake. It's a beautiful day. There is blue sky up there. Although it threatened to rain, it was a noisy thunderstorm in the night. We don't live too far from here. And the drive up was mostly rainy, but there's a nice blue sky up there. And the sun was just shining and there's practically no wind and the water's just sparkling when the sun shines, but beautiful. Nobody else on the lake. I'm out here all by myself. I hear some gulls. Okay, I'm not by myself. <laughs> I hear the gulls and no doubt I'll see some loons later on. Man, it's beautiful. So peaceful. Here's a beautiful campsite, island campsite, at the top north end of Cedar Lake. Big rocky cliff there. And there's a big old fireplace chimney here. Imagine the fancy house that might have gone with that. Along with that fireplace. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Nice little campsite. But I'm heading further north, so I better get going. There, that's where I came from. Those clouds, I hope they're going that wrong. <laughs> I hope they're not coming this way. Because right now the sun's shining on me. And it's pretty nice. There's a little bit of a breeze blowing me the wrong way right now, but I should be getting up into that into the more narrow areas and I'll be good to go. I don't think I'd have too much further, but I've got three short portages before I can hunt for my campsite. I'll talk to you then. There we go. I made it to the little river between little Cedar Lake and Oralee Lake. It's really pretty. There's ferns on one side and, and rocks on the other side. There's a little bit of a rock cliff in there, too, so in some places. But uh, getting from Little Cedar into this little river is a little tricky because the current is going over a narrow opening into this river, and it's really rocky and really shallow. <laughs> there was a merganser duck watching me, and she thought she... <laughs> I was making way too much noise and getting way too close, but she stayed on her perch in the sun and <laughs> complained a little, but she didn't go anywhere. It's just so pretty here. The green green of spring. And there's the cliff behind it. Look at that. I don't have far to go. Hopefully there's nobody at the campsite I would like to get to, because I'm getting a little tired. It got a little windy at the top end of the lakes. And there's the portage from Morley to the creek. I'm not sure what the creek is called. I'll check it out and tell you later. But I don't know if you can see the mosquitoes flying around here. Got my bug jacket on, but I am hot. Beautiful day. I don't think you can see these boulders. They're all moss covered, so they look pretty, but it's all boulders through here. And the moss makes it a little slippery. It's really short, but not so easy to walk for sure. Here we go. I'm at the end of the first portage. Look at all them boulders. Found out my shoes are not so not slippy. There's a little slippy. <laughs> Lots of boulders. I think I'll be weaving myself between these boulders for a while. I'm wondering if I can skip the next two portages because they're really short. Maybe I can pull myself through the rocks or whatever I find. Let's see. Yep. There's a cute little peninsula right in front of us. And I'm around that corner, I think, is the portage to Laurel Lake. And 
nice little island I paddled around at the mouth of the river, which was all rocks. My poor canoe Serenity got banged up a bit. You can't see see the rocks underneath this dark water when it's this kind of funny light. The sun comes and the sun goes. Uh, the sky is blue and the sky is dark. I got a nice campsite here. It's nice when the breeze blows. I think it's going to take my tarp away, but at least it takes the bugs away. Nice fire pit. Really nice bench. I got my tarp up, all my gear strewn about, but I don't have my hammock up yet. That's later. I'm going to sit down and have a coffee. There's a nice sign for the thunder box which is good because sometimes there's many paths and you don't know which way to go. First coffee, then look for a branch for the food bag for tonight. One of those over there might do, but it's kind of close. We'll see what I can find. But so far, beautiful day. I'm tired from five hours of paddling and only one portage. I dragged my canoe over the other obstacles. Poor Serenity. <laughs> but we made it. Not too bad, at least scratched. Me neither. I got a nice new bug jacket, so I'm a happy camper. Look at this beautiful flowers. There's, like I keep telling you, there's beauty everywhere. You gotta look. And there's such a number of them in here in the forest here. Nice big tall red pines. I got some pretty little bunch berries here too. Bunch berry flowers I mean. Lots of little flowers. Spring is so pretty. All right I know the mosquitoes and black flies aren't pretty but look at these tall trees. And everything is such a vibrant green in spring. So because I got all these red pines here and there's no branches till at the top, <laughs> I got a good breeze coming through. It's not keeping the black flies away, but at least it's keeping the mosquitoes away. So drying my wet socks, my dry waterproof socks, they're wet, so I've got to dry them. But look who found them. I'm telling you, there's just beauty everywhere. Look at that patterns. Just amazing. Pretty sky. There's clouds coming and going. The sun's coming and going. The wind's coming and going. I came and landed. <laughs> Here we are. Nice fire pit. A couple of grates. Found a little bit of sticks and stuff. I'm going to find some more. There's all my gear. No rain looks like so, so far. All through it, I don't want to walk anywhere. There's these beautiful little bunchberry flowers everywhere and lady slippers. It's just flowers and green greenery everywhere. They're so pretty. I got my hammock under here. Went for a swim. Had to get changed real fast because the bugs are real bad. I'm so happy for my new bug jacket because it really helps. There, I'm all set up for tonight. Right behind me is the little path to the Thunderbox. There's a couple of really good level tent pads in this site. Finally got, finally got my rope over a branch for the food bag later. Didn't want it too close to the 
campfire pit. So I got it down down the path by the water a little ways. Took me forever. It's ridiculous. Got it tangled up. Rock flew back and whacked me. But I survived. And the rope's finally up. Gonna make supper now. Go to bed. And I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Unless I see a good sunset tonight, then I'll bug you again. Good morning. Got my bug jacket on. It's I'm sitting under the tarp, packing up all my stuff. And you can probably see some bugs there too. <laughs> I'm having breakfast while I'm packing up. And we'll see where the morning leads. <laughs> my hair is a mess. I've been fighting the bugs. And I don't know how to comb my hair without taking the bug net off. But <laughs> with it, no wind and rain, it's really buggy. I'm so glad for the bug jacket. It works pretty well. The black flies can still get in. It's crazy. <laughs> Okay, got to get at it. Hey, <laughs> I made it, made it to my new campsite. Change of plan, plan B. When I was paddling yesterday, I saw nobody. And I saw this beautiful site on, on Cedar Lake. It's the site on the island at the north end with the big fire, stone fireplace. It's just gorgeous. But I noticed that it was open and breezy and high. And the bugs are still so bad. I've camped many times in spring, but this is nuts. Last year I thought it was nuts with the black flies, but this year <laughs> it's the same. Anyway, I thought if I'm going to be spending eight days with all these bugs in my face, literally, I thought I should spend it at an open breezy site. And the portage that I did yesterday was short and easy, although lots of rocks and boulders to walk around and over and <laughs> slip on. But I met somebody there. I met this huge, huge toad. <laughs> He's very friendly. <laughs> but I've seen nobody. So I figured it was pretty safe to come back to this site. And indeed I did. And indeed it was empty. So I got it. I got it all set up. It was raining while I paddled. It stopped and was sunny for a little while and breezy. Woohoo! Right now the breeze is not here and the bugs are. But it got really windy a, minute, a few minutes ago and you just missed the thunder. <laughs> so I don't know if it's still going to continue. That's the northwest. I'm assuming that's where the weather will come from. I don't know if you can see my hammock right above my head here. I got a cozy spot under here. Oh, and this, there's a huge flat rock to put all my stuff on to keep it dry. So that's a bonus. There's a bench. There's a bench with a back on it by the big fireplace. And I'll have to show you later when I know it's not going to be raining. But here I am. So total change of plans. I was going to stay at five different campsites. And now I just stayed at two. But I'm going to love it here. And I'm going to take uh, little day trips, weather permitting, and thunder. But who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll just go, I'll take a little portage over to see Bug Lake, which I was supposed to camp on, but you got to be flexible. I've learned to be flexible. i got a husband that likes to be spontaneous and five kids that, uh, five kids, totally different. It just amazes me how we're all totally unique. So I've learned to be a little flexible. <laughs> Let's see what the weather does now. We've had everything today. Let you know later. Well, there we go. There's my canoe. Nice little place to put it in, in this tiny ravine. There's a big hill here. <laughs> Cliff, more like. And there's a sign up there for the Thunderbox. It's up over the hill. you got to be a mountain goat to get to it. And you gotta not be in a hurry. <laughs> Let's. Well, I don't know who was thinking that one up. But that was nice. Then there's this little hill. And this massive 
stone fireplace. Look at that. Like, where was the house to fit with this? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to understand this architect. Well, there I'm set up with my tarp and my hammock and all my stuff under it because it was raining a minute ago. Now the sun's shining again. Up here is the fire pit and a nice bench. Look at that. That is so cool and so comfortable. Sit on something that you can lean on. I collected some sticks because there was no wood here. See, I put rocks on my pots so they wouldn't blow away in the wind. There's a nice little ravine here again. Like the, look at that. I know you can see that little blue sign up there. That's <laughs> I don't know. Way over on the other side of this little gully, I found a branch. And it didn't take me too many tries to get the rope up there, but there's not too many branches that'll work, let me tell you. Man, that's beautiful now, right? The sun's shining. I'm, I was shivering a minute ago, and <clears throat> now I'm cooking with my rain gear on. Well, my rain coat. My rain pants got totally soaked, plus the pants I was wearing because uh, while I was coming here, instead of doing the portages, I walked them and, and dragged my canoe through the obstacles. There was, the portage went around a rocky part of the river. Can't call it rapids, just big boulders. So instead of doing the portage, hauling everything out of my canoe, putting on the yoke, taking it off, trying to lift my big backpack back into the canoe. I figured I'd just wade it and walk the, walk the canoe through the boulders, which worked until I slipped. <laughs> it still worked. I just got wet, which was okay because the water's warm actually, but it's a beautiful view here. Now high up on a cliff. Nice rocky ledge here. I don't know how deep it is. If it's deep, it'd be fun to jump off. A little rocky island there. Well, it's not an island, I guess. It's just a rock. For it to be le <laughs> legally an island, it has to have two trees. But look at the green. Spring green is just so vibrant. Good morning. It's day three. It's kind of spit all night, off and on. Wind is below, off, blown, blue, <laughs> off and on all night. I stayed cozy warm. I don't know what the temperature went to, but it's not too warm right now. I got my my bigger hoodie on, and I got a different, I just got my head net. The hoodie's pretty tight in the neck, so I'm hoping the black flies can't sneak in there. They're pretty sneaky, let me tell you. Oh, wait, I think I see one in here. <laughs> they're, they're okay once the wind blows. If the sun would come out and the wind would blow, then we wouldn't have too many, but they're still bad. But it, this site is beautiful because there's a chance of a view. It's fairly open. These red pine aren't too tall, but and they're pretty sparse, but still beautiful. It's still beautiful. I woke up. It must have been really early because I woke up before the birds started singing. I don't know if you can hear them now. Well, I hear a loon way far away. And I've heard loons all night off and on. But right now there's there's a couple of uh, song sparrows singing here. But I thought I'd hear more. I did hear the white-throated sparrow. And a lot of other ones, but I thought I'd hear more. They're pretty. Song sparrows, he sings, I think, almost songbirds sing in the spring, but I think the songbird sings 
all year. We had, I had the loons just off my shore yesterday for a little bit. They're so beautiful and they have so many different calls. It's fun to hear them. But sometimes you can hear them really close to your site and at two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and it sounds like they're competing to see who is the loudest with their laughing call. <laughs> just to wake you up, I think. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go find my food bag and bring it down and have some breakfast. Talk to you later. There's my view. There's my bedroom and my kitchen and my living room view. Found this great big grate. So I've built myself a fire for lunchtime. Not lunch yet. <laughs> Pretty great day though. Had breakfast under the tarp just in case of the drizzle with my little cook stove propane stove. I put a pile of sticks over there and I got a pile of sticks here for me to burn. I don't want a pile of sticks beside the fire to keep at the fire pit. If a spark comes, flies out, you got a bigger fire you don't want. So I keep the wood piled farther away. Let's see if I can find some bigger pieces. I brought a saw so maybe I should do something with it. But in my trucks, I found these lying in the pathway. If you see the rock I put it on, if the sun was shining, it would be sparkling. It's got little gold flecks, totally gold flecks. But the sun's not shining today. But these cute little flowers are the flowers from the tops of white pines. I got some white pines along the shore there. Big, tall <coughs> white pines. So on the 1st of June, on the 1st of June, these little flowers come out and spread pine pollen everywhere. I mean everywhere. My home is, my house is underneath a huge white pine and everything is totally covered in white dust. You can see it flying through the air. You can just see it coating the river I live on. When I got here, it's coating the shorelines. I love yellow, but the dust is just coating all the chairs and tables. After the pine pollen's done, some pine needles fall. And then after that, these little flowers are done, so they start falling, and they look like Rice Krispies when they fall off and they're done. Our front deck at home looks like it. many Rice Krispie cereal boxes have exploded all over the place. But everything has such beauty and unique beauty. I'm telling you, there's a great artist creator to imagine all the variety and uniqueness of every every plant it's phenomenal i've been exploring my little island here now i'm just going to sit and enjoy this nice breeze that's keeping some of the bugs away <laughs> took off my hair nap for a moment to comb my hair and the bugs came back. I'm blowing right now because I got bugs on my hands while I'm holding the phone. There's not enough of the breeze, I guess, but it picks up every once in a while. But it's a totally gray sky. There's no hope in those skies for sun today. Maybe tomorrow. It's beautiful here anyway. I got three layers on. I got my warm sweater, my hoodie and my rain jacket. The breeze is a little chilly. It's supposed to get up to around 21 today. We'll see. If it gets any windier, I might bring my canoe up and put it as a little more wind block for my little shelter down there. I bring a huge tarp that way when it's raining because you know it's going to rain. I got place to sit and I put the tarp high enough that I can stand. Nobody else, I guess. I'm not too tall. <laughs> 
But and there's a nice big flat stone in there too for a table. I put a plastic bag on the ground with my life jacket up against that big rock for a a recliner. An easy boy chair. I'll bug you later. Are these not the cutest ever? They're baby squirrels. Living in the fireplace, the big stone fireplace. They look a little sleepy, one of them. The other one's just curious. They got so close. So cute. There. Supper's cooking. Taking a chance. It was sunny all afternoon, but now the clouds are coming back. Who knows what's going to happen. <laughs> it's very variable today. There's a nice little path that goes to what used to be the thunder box. Then I found this big log somebody tried to burn. It doesn't fit in the wood, the fire pit. Seriously. How do you know that's not put out? You don't know that's put out. Could be smoldering on the inside. Later on it sparks up again and sets. One spark flies out. And these red pine needles rusty red pine needles are so flammable whole island could go up in smoke hours after you left it after you left it thinking it was out please just put little pieces in the fire pit and make sure it's out when you leave so i found dug out my little saw handy dandy little saw and cut off a piece just to show you a little saw a little bit of elbow grease gets your gets a nice size to put in the fire pit. I found another little or smaller log, and I'm cutting these up into smaller pieces too. Leave for the next guy because I probably won't burn it all. I don't usually have much of a fire, but these little saws work really well. Fold up really small. Don't be burning the big stuff. Just little stuff that fits. Don't leave that pile there like I did. I'm going to be burning that up in the next couple of days. Don't let a spark set it off either. But I'm watching. I'm watching that sky too. Who knows what that's going to do. Rain or shine though, these black flies are still bugging me. But luckily I know how to tuck my head net into my tight neck shirt and or wear the, the bug jacket it works pretty good i put the canoe up here because the wind was and the drizzle was blowing in under there <laughs> so that helped me stay a little drier but it's it's a beautiful spot even though i'm sad that i changed my plans and this is a nice spot but happy to be here and beauty everywhere. I did wander uh, way up the hill, over the hill, and down in the gully to find the Thunderbox again a few times, but there's a whole cliffside full of lady slippers there. Just like I said, beauty everywhere. Now, I do have to add, though, my husband's a mag magical musician, a gifted speaker, and a genius computer geek. Not so good with stoves and fires. <laughs> oh, and he's fun. And I miss him. And I can't wait to tell him all my stories. Good morning. This is my day four morning. The sun is shining. Look at that. It's so calm. It looks beautiful. It's so breezy yesterday. It's totally cloudy. I think I'd forgotten what it was like for it to be sunny. Beautiful.
managed to get out to a rocky point of my island and I can see the tiny islands on both sides. Oh no, look at that cloud. Well, we had sun for a minute, <laughs> but it's a pretty day. My last morning, I'll be heading way down there. So basically, all we can see here is one half the lake. Oops, the other half the lake is wider. And there's a peninsula out there with two tiny islands. that I'll be heading to on my last morning. I hear a duck flying overhead. <laughs> this sounds weird. I'm hoping you can hear the song sparrow singing for me. Anyways, the wider part of the lake is after that peninsula at the far end. Pretty big lake. Okay, I'm sawing some logs up. See, ta-da! Then people don't have to put the whole, the whole log in the fire instead. You just bring a little saw. Bring a little saw, cut the wood up. Don't try to put the whole huge log in the fireplace. It won't work. This is kind of fun. It gives you different muscles to work out. I've done a whole bunch already, so hopefully it'll do somebody some good. I don't think I'll burn it all. Ta-da! How easy is that? How easy is that? Don't stick the huge long log in the fire. Cut up your wood. <laughs> it's fun. Good morning. See the gull out there? He keeps me company once in a while. These little red squirrels running around, but they're not running around today. It's pretty chilly. And that gusty wind is a little icy. So I'm sitting here, as you can see the smoke. There must be fire. Having my cup of tea. Warming my toes. I don't make a big fire or a long fire, but I might make a long fire today. It's supposed to go to a high of 13. What happened? Last week, last week it went up to 30 and sunny. Now it's 13 and very, very gray clouds. Very dark gray day. Looks like drizzle at any moment. Again, drizzled off and on yesterday, drizzled off and on the day before. Threatened drizzle the first day I came, but it was warmer then. I even went for a swim. Water was warm the first two days. These past two days, the water is icy. I have to go wash my dishes from breakfast. Make some more water, fill up my water bottles. I'm going to keep this fire going and warm up my hands when I'm done that. Nice bench, but I needed to be a little closer, so luckily there's a rock right here I can sit on with my little blow-up cushion. <laughs> Everybody loves watching the fire. I built up the fireplace with more rocks. I piled up a good pile of wood for the next guy. Or well, I might burn some of it today. But then I'll repile some more. So I still got a couple of logs in the bush I could saw up, maybe. And find some more if I go for a day paddle. I better put another log on this fire. And drink my tea. There you see the island that I'm camped on. The big one, not the little one. <laughs> There's another island there. And I paddled over here to you see my canoe down there. 
Serenity's resting and waiting for me. Pulled up on a little beach between all the rocks and boulders. There's a little beach, thankfully. I paddled over to see this old rail bed. I don't know, I think it starts in Ottawa and goes to Perry Sound. There's two rail lines that used to run through Algonquin Park. This one is goes along the north part and there's another one that goes more southerly through the southern part of Algonquin Park. I think built by Booth. Maybe not both of them. One of them was. Man, I think they should have a hiking trail along this all the way from wherever it starts in the park near, I think, Acre Road near the Barren Gorge. You can follow it all the way up to um, Kiyashkakui after going through Brent. Get up to Kiyash Campground. I was going to head up to the portage over to Bug Lake, but then the winds got gustier and I thought, hopefully there will be less winds tomorrow morning. I still want to see Bug Lake one way or the other, hopefully. <laughs> but I don't know if you can see the little gusts out there. They were blowing quite strong on Little Cedar. You'd think there'd be less on a smaller lake, but... I think I've seen loons on every, almost every single lake in Algonquin Park. Good morning. It's another gray day, but it's still beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but the water is just shimmering, even with the gray. It's nice just to sit. I'm listening to some birds singing. Heard the loons in the night. It's still beautiful. So peaceful. Hey, there's my campsite. I'm heading out. Look at this blue sky now. Wow. I can see what the lake looks like in the daytime when it's actually sunny. Look at that. I'm heading around my island, nice cliff shore, going up that away to the top end of Little Cedar where the portage is, and I'm going to hike over to see what bud, Bug look, Lake looks like. I'm here at the portage from Cedar Little Cedar Lake to Bug Lake. I've been told it's a very steep uphill climb. But at the beginning here, it's quite beautiful with flowers. The path goes up and probably up and up. I'll tell you when I get there. 
There's a nice little path I've come from. I don't think you can see the the hill going down there very well. I'm walking beside a swamp down the cliff here. Lots of moss, covered logs. Still there's flowers. And I don't know if you can see the incline. <laughs> but the walk's not too bad. It's been with a lot of roots. There's a mass of cedar trees. But not a lot of rocks and roots right here. We'll see what happens further up. Well, I'm looking downhill again. <laughs> After that nice smooth path, although it was still an incline, very steep incline at the beginning, it was a nice smooth path, but I spoke too soon. Soon after that was a boulder path. Now you can see it's really yucky, sucky muck. I bushwhacked around it, but you're carrying a load. It's not easy to bushwhack through the bush with a canoe on your head. Yuck, I'm glad I'm not carrying anything except, of course, my cell phone for pictures and satellite phone. Dear hubby Douglas, I am carrying my cell phone at the path. I think it goes up there somewhere. Can't quite see it. <laughs> this is a low maintenance path. So I keep going uphill till I find Bug Lake. But I'm glad I managed to bushwhack around all that mud. Here we go. I made it up that long, long, straight up hill climb to Bug Lake. It's a pretty little lake. It only has two campsites on it. One's right beside the portage. I'll show you that in a bit. But I saw this rocky point over here. So I had to bushwhack it through the bush from one campsite to the other because they're fairly close. Here we go. Look at this nice long rocky point. There you see I'm not lying there's a campsite sign. Nice little setup in there. <clears throat> On my hike up that long, rocky, and muddy, steep climb up the hill. I saw a couple of human tracks, but I saw mostly moose tracks. And here, nice little sand pile. Turtle's been burying her eggs in there. And my best guess is a fox came and dug these eggs up. Because I see the little pieces of shells. And I think it's too early for them to hatch, so I'm guessing a fox hat or a raccoon had a good snack. Look at the yellow flowers here. I'm telling you, <laughs> beauty everywhere. Little campfire pit over here. Little bench. Nice campsite. Ta-da! I made it. And there's the second campsite. Not too bad, but it's a hole in the bush. The other one's a little more open and breezy. But the thunder box is just a little ways down, which is nice. You don't have to hike forever. Now I'm going to head back down the portage. Down, down, down. Well, most of the clouds have come back, but it sure is a nice, calm day. I just got back from my paddle to Bug Lake. My hike, my paddle to the portage and then the hike up that steep never-ending incline back at my campsite so there's this big stone fireplace right here and the room must have been on this side of the fireplace because that's where the opening for the fireplace is so the house must have stood on tall pillars 
And these, all these trees in front of it weren't here, of course, then. But I can't find any kind of foundation where it would have stood. I was, must have been a big basement to walk in from down here. Because I did find at least this much I found. This little step here looks like this has been placed so nice a long time ago. Must have walked into the basement there. And then there was, looks like these made, were maybe, these steps were made a long time ago too, I'll betcha, before these trees were here that went around to the upstairs. I wonder, there must be some old history books with pictures. When I get back, I'm gonna find out. History is fascinating, but I don't always remember much, but it's still fascinating. <laughs> Good evening. What a beautiful day. Look, it's so calm. And there's been a few clouds, but it's so pretty. I took a paddle up to the portage to Bug Lake and hiked up 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 that steep hill. <laughs> it was nice and and leafy at first, a lot of deciduous trees, a couple of hemlock and cedar, but mostly uh, beech and poplar, I think, and maple. A couple of birch, not many. It was, the lake was pretty, just, it's just a little lake, Bug Lake is just a little lake, and there was one campsite right on the end of the portage, and another one, just a short walk through the bush, I've got little triplet squirrels, babies running around me like crazy. They're a little too brave. <laughs> so look out. <laughs> Anyways, the second site that I hiked through the bush to was had a beautiful rocky smooth point. It was it was nice. And, and, uh, and then, oh, and the portage uh, was up, 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 up and a lot of muddy spots to walk around. To, like bushwhack around it was really nasty black sucky muck but I made it <laughs> and I made it back just been taking it easy reading my books that I brought just little tiny books but I don't know if you noticed at first when I got here I was white spots on the bench and it kind of looks like bird drop things but it's not bird poop it's i looked up and i see there's a white pine tree white pine tree drops sap and it it comes it's clear at first but it it dries white 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 but it's sticky 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 not poisonous or nasty just nasty sticky so yeah and i've still got my bug net on it's kind of Makes a mess of my hair, so with the bug net on, you can't see the mess my hair is in, but what a mess. Always really hard to comb out. But the bugs aren't too bad yesterday. And yes, to yesterday it was cold, like cold, cold. And, and but still I had the bug net on. And, and uh, it's a bug jacket, okay, bug jacket. You have to tuck it. If you just got a bug net, you've got to tuck the bug net into your sweater or shirt. And then you've got to tuck your shirt or the bug net into your pants and then tuck the pants into your socks. Otherwise, they bugs get in. Black flies are especially sneaky. They can get in anywhere. <laughs> so there you have your little lesson for today. I'll bug you tomorrow. There you see one of these little triplets. He's investigating everything. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Anyways, last night I told you it was pretty chilly. But luckily, I had warm layers on. And I had these. I brought one pack of hand warmers. And they stay warm. It says ten, up to 10 hours. And trust me, they do. You activate them. I kept one at the foot of my sleeping bag and one in the middle. And... I stayed warm. I should get them to endorse my videos now, right? But instead, I'll just ask them and everyone to 
donate them to the homeless. It gets chilly at night, and these sure do help. Of course, I'd rather you convert your garage into a home for the homeless, but at least we got to do something. I don't have a garage, so maybe we can do something. Hand these out. If not handing them out, then buy a bunch and take them to the food banks. They'll know who needs them. They sure helped a lot me last night. The sun's going down. Shadows are long. Lake is calm. Shouldn't be too cold tonight, I hope. Good night. Ta-da! I got up at 5, left at 7, made it to this campsite at near the Brent campground at a little bit after 9. Nice little sandy beach here. Serenity was so happy I didn't have to drag my poor canoe over the rocks again. Lots of rocks in this lake. Some rocky points and probably nice campsites across the way, but tomorrow's supposed to be thunderstorm, so I thought I'd come down here, be close to the Brent campground where Doug's picking me up. And I found this is the second to last campsite. Second to the closest to, to Brent. It's a cute little campsite. Kind of hard to find a two good trees for my hammock and tarp, but I made her do. Nice fire pit and a couple of log benches. Gonna have lunch soon. And nice and flat. Nice and bushy. Nice breeze to keep the bugs away. A little bit of sunny spot here. And a path back there into the bush, not far to the Thunderbox. Nice easy walk. Now the last campsite was beautiful, but the walk to the Thunderbox was a joke. Those guys who dug, dug that hole and made that path must have been laughing. Well, look out there. I see two kayaks. I haven't seen anybody in seven days. The first, this is Wednesday. I haven't seen anybody since last Thursday. Well, then I only saw Doug because he dropped me off. <laughs> nobody else. Anyways, I'm getting hungry for lunch. This is my last day. Although I did change my plans. I'm kind of sad I didn't get to see the lakes I wanted to see and do all the portages. I'm kind of happy I stayed at the one campsite because it was beautiful. Nice breezy site, keep the bugs away. So I did a little bit of portaging the first day. And now I've stayed at three campsites instead of the five I'd planned on. But I still enjoyed it. I loved it. And either way you get out camping, just get out. There, on my hunt to find a branch, I found these beautiful, brilliant red flowers. So cool. Beauty everywhere. Sitting on a sandy little beach. Beautiful day. Beautiful clouds. I saw a canoe go by, loaded up two people. Wonder if they'll get the campsite I had last, for the whole last week. <laughs> Good morning. It's Thursday, June the 14th, 13th. <laughs> Thursday, 13th, I think. Lose track of time because it's just 
just time to enjoy back here. I'm getting all packed up my last morning. Just got to have some breakfast and rip down, roll up the tarp. I changed my plans, but it was still a good plan. Had a really good time. Can't wait to show everybody my pictures and tell them my stories. Hug Doug. I didn't get to see all the lakes I'd wanted to or do all the portages I'd planned, but I got to see fireflies and squirrel triplets. Had a beautiful time on a breezy site with less bugs. I saw geese and ducks and, of course, loons. Loons must have been, like, my, I'm set up with my hammock hanging right, right, like, a meter from the water. And the loons must have been in the water right, right near me because they were singing every song they know as loud as they could right beside me in the middle of the night. It was so funny. <laughs> Good trip. Good to be out here. I'm out here to see God's beauty and to give him thanks and to feel his peace and presence. Everything in the big things and the little things. There we go. I made it to Brent. I beat Doug here. But not the black flies, there's gazillions. But it was almost sunny when I left. And it's pretty gray now. Got my rain jacket out just in case. I'm Liz. I can do it. Bugs or no bugs, rain or shine. <laughs>